वेलकम बैक वी विल स्टार्ट विद वेरी बेसिक एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज रूट कॉज एनालिसिस दैट इज आर सी ए एज द नेम इंडिकेट्स रूट कॉज एनालिसिस इज नॉट लिमिटेड टू कॉज बट इट एक्सटेंड टू रूट कॉज एंड इट्स एनालिसिस बाय द डेफिनेशन रूट कॉज एनालिसिस इज ए सिस्टमेटिक प्रोसेस यूज टू आइडेंटिफाई एंड एनालाइज द अंडरलाइंग फैक्टर्स कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टू एन इशू और प्रॉब्लम विद इन ए फार्मास्यूटिकल प्रोसेस और प्रोडक्ट रेफरेंस आई सी एच क्यू नाइन क्वालिटी रिस्क मैनेजमेंट सेक्शन 5.10 पॉइंट टेन वाई आर सी ए और रूट कॉज एनालिसिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री आर सी ए हेल्प्स टू प्रिवेंट रिकरेंस ऑफ इशूज इम्प्रूव प्रोडक्ट क्वालिटी एंड एंश्योर्स पेशेंट सेफ्टी बाय एड्रेसिंग द फंडामेंटल कॉजेस ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स रेफरेंस आई सी एच क्यू नाइन क्वालिटी रिस्क मैनेजमेंट सेक्शन फाइव पॉइंट टेन This one is very frequently asked question what are the primary steps for conducting an root cause analysis here are the five major steps that are recommended from gam 5 guideline for root cause analysis first step is problem identification second step is data collection here we gather the data relevant to the problem statement third root cause analysis here we identify or come to conclusion of the root cause based on the use of various tools and techniques fourth step is corrective action planning here we identify the corrective and preventive actions that can be taken to avoid recurrence of similar kind of incidents and final step is implementation here we implement identified corrective and preventive actions next question is which are the simple investigation tools and advanced investigation tools commonly used in the pharmaceutical industry simple investigation tools includes brainstorming report from sme yy analysis or 5y analysis personal interrogation review of previous history of non conformances and process mapping tool for investigation whereas advanced investigation tools includes 5m or 6m tool for investigation fishbone tool for investigation which is commonly known as ishikawa diagram or cause and effect diagram next is failure mode effect analysis and last is parity charts and scatter diagrams parity charts and scatter diagrams are statistical tools which are very rarely used in the pharmaceutical industry this one is very important question how to select appropriate investigation tool to identify root cause based on the problem statement and overall expertise of investigator investigation tool selection may vary but to simplify it we can use these two rules for selection of investigation tool to identify root cause rule 1 when exact factor for problem is known use simple investigation tool example yy analysis or brainstorming etc here if we know that human is culprit or problem is with the human we can go with the simple investigation tool if we are sure that problem is with material or problem is with the process then we can go with the simple investigation tool rule 2 when exact factor for problem is not known use advanced investigation tool for example fishbone tool for investigation 5m or 6m tool for investigation or process mapping etc here if we want to challenge the multiple factors like material process machines or humans we should go with the advanced investigation tool this is very basic and important question what is the difference between cause and root cause although in the pharmaceutical industry cause and root cause both the terms are used interchangeably there is an fundamental difference between these two concepts to make it simply a cause is a contributing factor to a problem while root cause is the fundamental reason behind that problem to make it more simple cause is the superficial contributing factor for the problem and when we go on investigating or go on more digging with the problem we find root cause we will understand this with one example example is temperature excursions in the warehouse based on the investigation if we found cause for this problem is this might occur due to temporary power outages equipment malfunctions or errors in monitoring if we not stop here and go on investigating in more deep we will find the root cause as the company might not have implemented automated temperature monitoring systems and manual checks might not be conducted frequently enough 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज टू बी डन इफ एग्जैक्ट रूट कॉज इज नॉट आइडेंटिफाइड बेस्ड ऑन द इन्वेस्टिगेशन दिस हैपन्स विथ मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेज और मोस्ट ऑफ द इन्वेस्टिगेशन परफॉर्म इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री इन सच केसेज वी शुड आइडेंटिफाई द मोस्ट प्रोबेबल रूट कॉजेज फ्रॉम द इन्वेस्टिगेशन इफ नेसेसरी अप्रोप्रिएट करेक्टिव एंड प्रिवेटिव एक्शन शैल बी टेकन अगेंस्ट द मोस्ट प्रोबेबल रूट कॉजेज एंड मोर इम्पोर्टेंटली इन सच केसेज सिस्टम और प्रोसेस शैल बी मॉनिटर्ड वेदर सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ इंसिडेंसेज आर गेटिंग रिपीटेड और नॉट एक्सप्लेन द प्रोसेस ऑफ वाई वाई एनालिसिस वाई वाई एनालिसिस कैन बी डन इन फोर स्टेप्स इन स्टेप वन स्टेट द प्रॉब्लम स्टेप टू आस्क क्वेश्चन एज वाई डीड problem occurs step 3 once you got the potential reason ask why that happened and in last step 4 do the exercise until you get root cause this one is very discussed question whether it is compulsory to ask five questions in yy analysis the answer is no it is important to understand the real purpose of this exercise of asking questions yy tool for investigation is used to identify or find out the root cause once the root cause is confirmed at third or fourth question further questions need not be included or need not be asked in other case if investigation team found that the root cause is not identified up to fifth question team can ask next question that is sixth seventh till the root cause is identified explain about fishbone diagram structure you can refer below schematic for understanding fishbone diagram structure The diagram is structured like fish skeleton with the main issue in the center and potential causes branching out from it. Here we evaluate the potential causes such as man, machine, material, method, measurement and milieu. Milieu refers to environmental factors. Which points to be considered under factor man? Here are the five major points that should be considered under factor man. first education experience and job role second qualification of personnel involved for particular activity third training on relevant sops fourth previous deviation or os history of human errors of personnel under investigation and fifth outcomes from personal interrogation what is cft and what is role of cft in root cause analysis CFT is very common short form that is used while performing root cause analysis. CFT refers to cross functional team. Based on the problem statement CFT is formed. CFT members gives their ideas, suggestions or inputs to identify and analyze root cause. CFT members also involved in identifying appropriate kappas. CFT may include SMEs from various departments example production, engineering, QA, QC, R&D, etc. what is interim root cause investigation report sometimes root cause investigation takes long time due to following reasons it may includes complaint sample received delay monitoring of upcoming batch manufacturing or analysis delay in external lab reports due to these reasons the final conclusion of investigation cannot be done in such cases we prepare the report with the available data and sign off this interim report is called interim root cause investigation report further on the availability of complete data we sign out the final report for what purpose root cause analysis is used in pharmaceutical industry root cause analysis techniques can be used for following it may includes deviation investigation os investigation market complaint investigation incident investigation or any other failure investigation last and very important question which guidelines are commonly referred for root cause analysis in pharmaceutical industry following are the four commonly referred guidelines for root cause analysis these are first ichq9 second fda's guidance for industry third isp baseline guide and fourth who's technical report series number 996 annex 5 visit channel you will get more than 100 videos about our pharmaceutical industry subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry